25 watt bulb. One pounds, one can, 25 watts. Now, let's see what happens when we put that on. Now, of course, it won't be as bright because it, uh, this takes a lot of amperage, you know, and the wattage. This here, the watts on this thing here is only about, uh, right now, about 18 watts only, and this is 25 watts. Now, do the rods get hot? Uh, no, the rods don't get hot. The light bulb is just hot. Yeah, because it's... Uh, yeah, it, it gets hot. And of course, you can't see the heat there, but now, you, I'll give you a good shot of the, of the, uh, of the light there. Okay. Yeah, got it. Now you need a very big battery to do that. If you want to do that with a battery, uh -huh. you know that's to show there's no power here as far as uh, storage power. It stores a certain amount of electrons because it builds up. Mm -hmm. Now let's cover them. We're going to cover them up. So now no no, no light can get to them. So we can show they're not like a solar panel. Now let's turn the switch on. So the power is now going from the bottom terminals through the switch here to the top here. Right, okay. Now we use these two terminals on here because sometimes at the cave site we used to use this to charge the big battery. Uh -huh. See? So that's why we put those terminals on there. Now let's black it out. See if we can still light it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? You don't need light. So we're not getting it from the fluorescent lights here. We're not getting the power from the fluorescent lights. Right. Now the this is this kind of electricity is very much like lightning. You know how devastating lightning can be. Mm -hmm. Lightning is because the earth is negative and the atmosphere is positive. And when lightning strikes